my God, it's a little JR. I'll have a glass of your finest lemonade. I change it every couple of months. Yep. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Keep, Keep the cup. Are you sure? Yes. And a flower. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you very much. There you go. You know, all joking aside, it is great to support little entrepreneurs, you know, kids uh, starting a business. It's cool to see that. And um, I only gave her 25 bucks. I would have liked to have given 100, but I don't carry that kind of cash with me. Um, but either way, hopefully that brightened her day up. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Today is gonna to be an install video day. So if you don't like install videos, maybe Parker uploaded something great today. Probably not. Today's video is brought to you by Alligator Performance. Uh, if you guys don't know, I ordered pretty much every part for my Duramax build from Alligator. They're really good people. They even hooked up my buddy who was in the Marine Corps with a discount because he's, well, working with a limited budget because he's in the Marine Corps. Of course, as you guys know, I don't really do sponsored videos, which this is not, but I ordered something else for my truck, which is sitting over there in the corner, and they contacted me and said, hey, if you're ordering this part, would you like to try out these for free? And I said, sure, why the hell not? So that's how we ended up with the modification that I will be installing today. Awesome company, check them out. And this is the last one. So the company itself, I think, is called Longhorn, this box has some stuff in it. It's called Longhorn Fab Shop. If you look at that, I got a free banner. Put it up there with my Cooks one. And also a t-shirt with the tattered flag design. Kind of looks like uh, the hood of the Duramax, what it used to look like. Again, not sponsored, just showing you guys what's in the boxes. And well, let's, I'll bring the camera over here to show you guys the rest. We have the brackets in here. Now, some of you might know what this is. Any clues? Well, you're gonna know, I think, when I open up the big box here, which is a really heavy box and weighs about 70 pounds. There you go. That's right, we are putting traction bars on the Dirty Max. Usually how heavy something is, is a pretty good indicator of the build quality. And if that is the case here, these things are fucking great because everything in the kit weighs a lot. The bars, uh, these things are really heavy. The brackets, everything appears to be very well made. So I'm excited to uh, put them on the truck. First step is backing the truck into the garage. Things you are going to need for this build are the usual suspects. The only thing I had to go out and buy, because um, it's kind of a something you might not have, a three quarter inch deep socket, and what the hell else was it? A 24 millimeter deep socket. Other than that, you need a jack, a torque wrench, and it helps to have an impact wrench, and a bulldog, or two. Always helps to have one on standby. I got a work light for this uh, little project so that we can see just a little bit better. What do you think? Yeah? All right. Step one is gonna be jack up your truck. Step number two, take out the U-bolts. I should also mention that this is a great opportunity to paint parts of your truck while you have everything separated. Always a good time to fight rust. As you can see, step one is now complete. You have removed the stock U-bolts and the axle bracket, and maybe you've done a little bit of painting, so you're probably gonna be just a tad hungry 
Um, and that is step two, you're gonna eat your lunch. I have chosen General Sal's chicken for the day. Um, we're still in the cut, down to 175 from 186, about two and a half, three weeks ago. And it's going pretty good, hope to be at 165-ish by the middle of May. This, by the way, is a healthy choice meal. And usually I hate pre-made microwave shit, but it comes in handy. I mean, it's everything's counted, so it comes in handy for the days like today where I don't have a ton of time to make my own food. We'll be on to step three here in a second. Step two is going to be put the new brackets on, which we have right here. And the old bracket is gonna sit inside of it like this. And then that will go back in place the same way it was before. Should be pretty easy. We got one side done. Looks pretty fucking badass if you ask me. You guys are lucky, you get to skip ahead. I have to do the other side. Just like that, we're done. And now, let's take her out for a test drive. Driving around this parking lot, I would say, in my unprofessional opinion, that it feels pretty good. Now, I guess that this would be a good time to explain what traction bars are. When you have a truck, especially a lifted truck with lift blocks, you have the potential for axle wrap. Now, what is axle wrap? That is actually when you accelerate, especially under hard acceleration or when you're towing or both, um, your axle will actually twist upwards. And uh, as you would imagine, a lot of bad things can happen with this. Number one, probably the biggest concern is wheel hop. And we've all seen, you know what, I'm gonna go right back in the parking lot because I don't feel like driving around and holding the camera. Uh, we've, we've all seen the fail videos of trucks uh, pulling each other or pulling something heavy and they shake themselves to pieces and then the axle is laying down the street from where the truck is actually at and uh, that's kind of what happens. So traction bars are uh, there to prevent that. And of course I have to give another big thank you to Alligator Performance and Longhorn Fab Shop for making this video possible. Uh, Longhorn, the product is badass and if you need anything for your truck, once again, order it from Alligator and if you want the traction bars, of course, from Longhorn, you can order them from Alligator as well. I've about had enough of driving around in a 20 foot circle. So I wanna talk about some shows that I will be at this weekend. First one is tomorrow morning, Saturday. That is Cars for Critters. I changed my shirt. And that is in Hershey, Pennsylvania at the Antique Automobile Club of America Museum. It is a show to benefit uh, homeless pets, the ASPCA, hence the Critters. It used to be cool cars for cats and canines, and I guess they didn't wanna exclude any other animals, so they changed the name. Every kind of car is gonna be there. You have your American cars from muscle to sports cars like your Corvettes and whatnot, and then you have your exotics and tuner cars, pretty much everything. Um, it's gonna be a great show once again, so definitely come out. It's like 30 or 40 bucks to enter your car, but if you don't wanna enter, I think it's only five or 10 bucks to get in, and it is at the museum, so you can check out the cars on the lawn and then go into the museum and check out um, the amazing cars they have in there, everything from like, um, like the late 1800s, we're, talk we're talking like the first cars uh, to more modern day stuff and they have everything like buses, um, commercial vehicles, uh, cars, just cars that like you've never even seen before. So it's a really cool place. Not only am I going to be there, but so is Nick and Troy and I think even Andy and Shane too. So kind of the whole 717 crew. I'll put a link down below, come out if you can. The second show is Cars and Coffee, Lehigh Valley the following day, so Sunday morning. I think I'm gonna try to get there. It's at the Steel Stacks in Bethlehem, I think, Pennsylvania. 
Uh, it's about a two hour trip for me. I'm gonna try to be at the show by 8 a.m. And of course, you guys already know the deal with cars and coffee, no entrance fee or anything. You just show up and have a good time. With that being said, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. I hope to see you at the shows this weekend. Take care, have a great day.